Um, and yeah, so that presentation, I, I loved you know, the, the number of laughs you got. Thanks. <laughs> but also there's, I think a tone that happens with when you used to like, especially for, for high school and continuation school students where it's a, you get more and more laid back to like give the kids more room, uh, I think. That's, that's something I remember from, from being in, in high school classrooms and. Well, yeah, definitely. Uh, you can't, you know, you're going to, you're going to get called names and you just got to kind of have a thick skin, kind of be like water off a duck's back, you know. Um, they're just trying to push boundary and see if they can get a rise at you. You know, if they call you a name and you react, they won, you know, just, all right, whatever, you know, I've been called worse before, you know, just try not to react, you know, it's not, it's not definitely continuation school isn't for everybody, but I was kind of a knucklehead when I went to high school. So like, you know, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you respect the, uh, you respect the uh, the laid backness in a way. Uh, yeah, there, there's some lit. There's there's yeah, but most of the time I'm pretty chill. But you know, there's definitely times you gotta like. I don't. I I, I scream very rarely. Maybe like once or twice a year when something crazy happens. Like sometimes there'll be a fight and everybody will run towards the door to go go out and see it, and I'll yell like "Get in your seats!" and like you know, they never hear me yell that loud, like that. So. It's, it's effective when I actually do it, you use it more sp sparingly, you know, you actually, it's effective. Or if you just, just, the teacher that screams and yells all the time, it's lost all effectiveness. They just tune it out like Charlie Brown's teacher, you know, it's just like, wah, 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 wah. Mm -hmm. They don't hear it after a while, you know. Some teachers are like that, it's, you know, not very effective teachers though. Okay. Yeah, and um, so, and something else that, about the presentation, it's interesting to say, uh, not hugely directed. It was like, hey, let's, who sparks your interest and how can you reflect that and show that? It's, it's definitely better when you get student generated questions and interest. If you try and force something down on them, you're just going to, you're the projects and the work you get, is just not going to be very good. If you try and make them do something they don't want to do, you're just going to get a bunch of stuff copied off of Wikipedia or a, bu a bunch of stuff that's just you know, for lack of a better word, half-assed, you know, just thrown together. But you, you try and want to develop buy-in that they write about or do something that they like, you know. Um, that project was actually for an English class. I started off teaching art in the first quarter, but then they switched me to English. I have a credential in English. I have an art background. Mm -hmm. I went to the Academy of Art in San Francisco, got a AA in art from City College. But um, so they gave me art class to begin with, but needed more English class anyways. They wanted a fun project so you know i was kind of surprised they wanted to do posters because you know a lot of my kids are 16 to 19 that's the majority age range and i was surprised that you know a bunch of 16 year olds and 19 year olds wanted to rent make posters you know i was like it's like why do you guys want to make posters and they're like because it's better than writing a paper <laughs> you know like but they they liked it you know it's, and it's kinesthetic learning too you know they like they like finding pages in magazines ripping pages out they like cutting stuff up gluing pasting it's just, I like doing that stuff too. I guess I guess forgot about it, you know. But yeah, you know, no, they, they, it was a it was a project they really liked. It's probably one of the better ones I got out of them during the year. I was kind of that was the last project we did before school shut down. Uh, mm -hmm. They we did that, and then we're gonna we we're gonna start reading a novel by Shanika Shakur, Monster, about a LA gang member that goes to prison. I did a GoFundMe. I got a class set of books raised from my class, like over $500 worth of books. I was all ready to go. And then school shut down. Wow. So, so it was, wow. It was like, got to figure out what we're going to do now for distance learning. <laughs> do you uh, still have a, do you, so did that GoFundMe finish? Uh, yeah, it did. I did. I, 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 I but there was no way to get the books out to the kids, you know, because, you know, we're all in shelter in place. So mm -hmm. we switched it up and we ended up doing Mice and Men online because you can find Mice and Men online everywhere. But um, mm -hmm. we'll get back to it next quarter um, or next next school year, hopefully. Uh, but like I said, I don't know. We don't know what the school is going to look like yet. There's there's no there's no plan in place. Um, no one knows what school is going to look like when we return in the fall. So 
right now my classes are mostly conducted through websites, Gmail and phone calls or text. I put questions out there, you know, kids ask, I don't know, check in with me, we work on them together, but, um, you know, just, we, we all had to put together uh, what distance learning looked like in two weeks. You know, we had two weeks of vacation to figure it out. And I'm not really the most tech savvy guy in the world. I didn't get my first cell phone until I was 30. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's making it up as we go along, building the plane as we fly it. Right. Uh, it's like, it's, I think highlights the, the need for creativity. So have you been making art? Do you have your own? Have you continued an art practice? Um, yeah, sometimes I do stuff around the school. Um, I, was, I did it more when I was a kid. Um, made, a, made a few bronze sculptures when I went to the academy. Hold on a second. I'll walk back on screen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is the reality of our uh, Zoom, Zoom lifestyle. All right. Oh, the cool. piece I made when I was uh, 19, I went, went to the academy. Entered into the show. I liked it, but it got downgraded because it didn't have a patina on it. But <laughs> if I would have known that, I would have put a patina on it. So I came, I got an honorable mention. But That's a pretty, uh, pretty solid piece. Yeah, um, but uh, a lot of this, a lot of the other, all the other projects the kids had and stuff we were working on, they're locked up in my classroom. I don't even know if it's still there to tell you the truth, because they're gonna, they hired a company to go through and sanitize everything. I don't know if papers got thrown out. Oh, I, haven't been, I haven't been in my classroom since March. So it'll, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what survived, you know, when I come back in the fall, finally get a chance to go back in, look in there. Yeah, and I wonder, so are you, um, are all your students connecting in some way online? Um, we got a lot of drop off, well, it's a continuation school. And yeah. So you normally as, drop off. It's not as high as I would like. The kids that are, the kids that are, were close to graduating, they're really on it because they want to graduate and be done. Yeah. So, so like the seniors are more on top of it than the juniors, the juniors are kind of slacking, but. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I love, I think that the posts are um, like that lesson that you are presenting about really is about uh, letting them decide, okay, how can we demonstrate understanding? Which I think is an important theme, like as we look at, you know, current times and like, oh, the SAT and ACT getting postponed or some schools saying, hey, we don't care about that as much and grading getting postponed with this idea of, hey, wait, there's lots of ways to show understanding and we can be creative with that is interesting. Yeah, there, there is, you know, um, the best way I think to teach for understanding is have is have somebody else teach it, all right? If, if you can teach somebody how to do something, then you know how to do it, you know? S some of us are pretty good test takers. I'm a pretty good test taker, um, but like, other, you know, I, I think I, I think, I don't even know if I, oh, God. I don't even think I gave any tests out this year. I just usually make stuff work-based, you know what I mean? Like if you're, if you're making an effort, you're showing up, you know, you're gonna pass my class. I just, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of high stakes testing. Uh, that's probably, that's one of the good things that did happen. Uh, high stakes testing was canceled this year and probably next year. All right, hold on a second, yeah, it's slow down. We're, we're losing the audio a little. Oh, uh -oh we're, we're, lot, we, just losing Steve's audio there. Steve, hold on. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're just bubbling in any answer to all, all computer-based now. But I remember like um, when I was in high school, we, it was still the Scantrons. On one side, I bubbled in, your mom is ugly on the Scantron. On the other side, I bubbled in a picture of a house. So I guess <laughs> that's the lowest level English classes. And then my father had to come and get me out. And he was quite upset when he saw what I did, but. <laughs> you know it's not you don't get a lot of buy-in on high stakes testing yeah yeah and often it's the there's testing that is matters for the school stats but it's really unclear if it matters for the student at all no you, you, yeah it's, it's, they're not getting a grade for it so they don't care you know what i mean yeah. they're just they're just gonna go there and hang out with their friends or whatnot or you know it's just I, I would like to see things where like maybe like kids went, you know, it's like you did a portfolio of like your best work or, you know, or the teacher is divine, divide, 
their own standards was ever like, you know, te we're teachers, we're paid to design to make tests and stuff, you know, we could test our own kids and find out where they are. It's like, you know, it's not out of the pale for us to do that. <laughs>